Hello and welcome back to another video. So usually at the start of videos I say what I'm going to do for the day but I can't do that today because I just don't know. Um, the weather is shocking here. Now it's dry at the moment so I'm just trying to take advantage of it but the last few days have just been a complete washout. Fields are wet, passageways are flooded, it's just yeah it's not what you'd expect from July really. But I'm just going to see how I get on today. Um, if it's really bad, I'm not going to be able to get much done. I really want to finish off just power washing a few things, but we don't have the power washer, so um, I have to wait to get that back. God, the flies are awful. Um, but the cow, the red cow, is supposed to be bulling today. It's the last day, so I'm hoping that she is. That's my cat Jackson there. Um, I hope she does come bullying, but it's not looking like she will, so that's a bit of a concern now as well because I can't understand why the injection hasn't worked. But look, we'll give her time, she might come in later today. Um, and then I might just tidy up a few bits and pieces around the place. There is a patch of grass in front of my house here, it's it's not a field, it's not a paddock, it's just a small section that was left over like. We got the whole lot for the site, but we didn't need it. Um, so we fenced off and now we've got a bit of grass there. I've, I've shown you the cows in it before, but I'll show you there in a second. It's got a lot of um, foxglove in it. So I purposely left it um, until now because it's died off now, but it's good for the bees. The bees love it. So I just left it in there, but there was an awful lot of it. So. I want to pull what's there now because obviously it will have seeded and more will come next year but I don't want more to come on top of what was there this year um, because it will literally take over the whole place I'd say. So yeah, I'm just going to get rid of that first and you know it'll just tidy it up as well, it'll look nice uh, when I'm looking outside the house if nothing more as well but um, look we'd be hoping to get a few cattle in there in another couple of weeks anyway just to feed it down, there's decent grass there. Um, so I'll do that first and then I'll head down and have a chat with dad and see what needs doing but the forecast is not good at all today so look I'll get as much as I can done and uh, yeah sure I'll show you anyway what I'm at. That's it there behind me. It's cleaned up a nice bit. A few dock leaves in the top corner there, but we'll get rid of those. We're going to spray them because it's only a small patch. Um, ignore my septic tank. I just put some pigtails around that to, to keep the cattle away from rubbing off it. But you know, it's only a small patch there. That's the fence to my house and that's my grandmother's house. So it's just that patch in between. But look, if uh, if it's needed to, to give a place a rest for a couple of days, it's handy to have it. and. The fact that it was grazed down um, by the two cows before they calved there uh, earlier in the summer means it has come back nice and strong there now as well so it all helps it all helps so yeah i'll uh, get on and see what else i need to do i was just doing the last of the topping there and it's after air locking again which is strange because and i know it can just happen but I was topping for months and it didn't happen at all and now twice. I know it's hard work in this field so maybe that's more work for the tractor and whatnot but I have to walk back up now. Get Actually I have to walk up to my house because there's nobody at home home so I have to go up and get the keys to get into the house to get the keys to the garage to get the spanners. Ah, so uh, hopefully now I'll be able to sort it out myself after seeing it done the last day. But um, yeah, it's just frustrating. My dad is home, so he's going to come down with me. He said to hang on because it's just handier when there's two people anyway, because if the bubbles are coming out, he'll be able to tell me and whatever. But um, 
can't remember what spanner it takes so I've just brought them all. Um, I'm missing a nine so it better not take a nine <laughs> um, but I have everything else so look hopefully we get it going Um, it's just an inconvenience when these things happen it uh, slows down the day so we'll see how we get on anyway. It's a bit windy here now so I apologize but dad's heading off there now we got it going it was a bit touch and go there for a second we thought but um it worked out fine like of course it's kind of awkward but dad brought down a piece of timber and so we pumped it and the bubbles were coming out so that was fine we tightened it up and then dad used the bit of timber from the gator to pump it while I turned the key and yeah we got it going so that's great it's it's you know one of those things um it has to happen to you before you know how to do it yourself so um happy with that it's only something small all is forgiven the 135 is a wonderful tractor I would never want anything but the 135 <laughs> until the next time but Erin no luck an easy fix thankfully so I'm just going to finish off this little patch behind me here and I'm going to give it a rest uh, from the topping for a while because I think it's badly needed now at this stage so today is not my day it's gone again very annoying I literally I was doing a tiny patch there and it's not rough or anything so oh dad's on his way down again now uh, I'd say we just need to blow it out there's probably a bit of dirt in it but it's annoying it's a small job and I just can't get it finished what's left there now would literally take two minutes but I don't care I'm not doing it it's there's no point um so hopefully we'll get it going now this time and that's me done with the topping for a while and yeah we'll see if we can um clean it out but not a good day now today also it doesn't look like that cow is going to come bulling uh which confuses me because i've never seen it not work when they've been injected to bring them in so don't know what's going on there either so yeah not the best day not the best day at all I've cut out the sound on this because it was quite windy, but there was also maybe some bad language used, as there usually is when myself and my dad are around. But um, yeah, I'm going to let you enjoy us uh, getting this back up and running for the second time.
Now, as you could see from that clip, we got it going again anyway, thankfully, and even quicker this time than the last time, so... But I said that was it for the day. I parked up the tractor and I said, it's just not my day. I'll come at it now again tomorrow because I'm off again tomorrow. So, parked up the tractor and went away home. But I sat down and had dinner then and I started to feel guilty. I don't know, does anybody else get that? Maybe not the full-time farmers, but the part-time ones. I just feel, you know, if it's too early in the evening and I'm sitting down doing nothing, I just kind of feel guilty and I'm thinking about all the things I could be doing or just feeling like I should be out on the farm, at least with the cattle or something, so which I know isn't a good way to be because I do spend enough time out here as it is. But anyway, um, I said I'd come down and just check on Michelle here because her day is Sunday, Saturday or Sunday, for bulling. So we're just kind of keeping an eye on her now. It's Thursday evening today. So uh, I said I'd come down and just have a look on her, uh, but she was out here completely on her own, so she's actually fine. But on my way down, I spotted some ragwort, so no better way to blow off a bit of steam than to uh, go pulling ragwort. So that's what I did. Not a whole lot, but I think I've pretty much, or at least the vast majority of what was in this field pulled. But if you do a bit every year, there's less and less the following year. So thankfully, not too much there. Don't worry if you will crop up now that I'll say I can't believe I missed that. But... Um, yeah, at least I got that done anyway. While I'm here as well, I might as well show ye the calves if I can. I probably won't be able to show you the younger ones because they can't stand the sight of me. Um, I'll just go under the fence here now. This is Michelle, so she's the one I'm watching for bullying. Turned into a great cow actually. Um, they've all been scratching off these trees here. So her tail paint is pretty much gone, which is really annoying because it doesn't help us at all. Um, but you can see on the top, it's still there. So we're hoping that if she was bullying, that that would come off anyway. This is her calf, the Simmental. So this was one of the ones where we thought she was having an easy calving limousine, but she actually had a Simmental. And very difficult to see there now because she's acting the maggot. But she's coming on really, really well very happy with her because generally our Michelle has not had the most amazing calves. So easy girl. This then is Misty. So this is what we believe is our white Simmental. Now I saw her the last day. I think it's on the other side. If she'll just allow me. She definitely had brown under her leg. And it wasn't dirt. You can see it there. Can you see it? It's definitely brown. So I think she actually might be a white cemental. Do you see it? That's not dirt. That's always there. So I think she is actually a cemental out of the white cow back there. But again, she's doing really well. This is the Charlie then out of Norma, Nervous Norma, who's there beside the white Charlie. Um, she's very young, so it's hard to tell. She's tall. She'll be grand. I have no doubt. Um, but she's doing fine. And then that lunatic running over there is the one that was the surprise out of Little Red. Don't know why she's so wild. She is, she's the wildest out of all of them, even though that Charlie and the Simmental are absolutely nuts as well. But, um, good shape to that calf you know again she's a lot younger than the others so she'll look smaller of course so that's them I'm happy with all of them they're doing really well of course the younger ones look much smaller when you're comparing them to the the Charlie they're, no she's not a Charlie 
she's a Simmental. Well, maybe she's a Charlie. I don't know. <laughs> she could be. Um, but yeah, they all look so small compared to her. But sure, she has a couple of months on them. Um, but I'll go up now and I'll show you the twins. I won't bother showing you Sheehan because... I think I have him in nearly every video, so you've probably seen his progress. Um, still as quiet as ever, he's going to end up breaking my heart someday when he has to go. Um, because he actually just seems to be becoming a bigger pet every day. That Michelle is a right cow. Um, but yeah, I'll go up and show you them and that'll be it. Now I have the twins and this lad was the bigger of the two when they were born. He was the one that was really, really weak and lethargic uh, when we found them. Uh, so we were primarily very worried about him at the start, but he's doing really well. Um, there's not a massive difference between the two of them. You'll see now in a second, but he's doing really well and he's a lot quieter than the other fella, which I also like. I had to disturb this man then. He was having a sleep, but as you can see, he's not quiet at all. But nice stretch for the camera there by him, but showing off his shape there, you know, he's a very good, good calf. Um, we're really happy with the two of them. You can see there his back end, it just looks that bit better than the lad that was bigger all along so there really is very little between them now I would say but I don't know is uh, Ernie starting to take over from birth a bit but um, yeah two, two very decent calves out of that cow now considering the circumstances and that's it that's all the calves bar she and above and hopefully in a next video or two Big Black will have her calf as well and fingers crossed all going well I'll be showing you that one as well soon enough but I think I'm going to leave this video here I was planning on doing the video over a couple of days but today was just a pain of a day it was just one of those days um, that yeah kind of get to you sometimes so I think I'm just going to leave the video there on a nice note with the calves and all of that and um, might do another video tomorrow depending on what's going on but I won't be touching the tractor so surely it'll be a better day and look maybe Big Red will will come bulling um, but if anybody has any suggestions as to why that might be as I said the vet was here he handled them he could see she is cycling you know so I can't see why she wouldn't have come after, you know, getting the, the injection. Um, just doesn't make sense to me. But if anybody has experienced that before, has any idea, please do feel free to let me know wherever. Um, because yeah, it's a bit of a worry now. We will put her in calf whenever she comes in. But if she goes into calving in June, July, we won't be able to keep her again next year and that's the big fear and yes she is an absolute pain when it comes to calving and putting her in the hay gates and things like that but she's such a good cow and she's just so nice to to deal with in the field there you know she'll lie down and I'll rub her on her head or she'll eat the nuts out of my hands all those things so I would be really really sad to see her go and you never want to see your best cow go. Her sister is the one that's going this year, her older sister. Been a great, great cow for us. So the last thing we want now is for her to go next year as well. Um, there's no cow that could have given us two calves as good as those that we have. Like, um, You know, they're, we're happy with our cows, but she's definitely the best one. And she's reared those two calves really well, you know, so... What he's eating there, but anyway, um, yeah, so look, that's it. Um, a bit of a video about nothing really in the end because just how the day went, but these things happen sometimes. But thankfully, I have a third day off this week, so um, I don't feel as bad about it. If I only had the two days off, um, I would have been annoyed because it would have been a bit of a waste of a day. 
but anyway i'll leave it there so thanks again for watching if you liked it give me a like and if you haven't already done so please subscribe thank you